Okay, so the next lesson that we're going to do is the walking. So, um, if you notice, she has that prong collar on. It's a short, maybe 15, 16 inch um, leash that I have. That's allowing her to give me more control. And we're going to work our way up to where I can trust her and she can earn that trust to be on a longer leash and exploring where I know there's, I'm not going to have to tug from 20 feet away. Um, if you look at, at her mannerisms, so what they do is we're talking about those smell receptors and she knows I have a treat for her. Um, she's waiting for it. So as I was talking um, about earlier, the smell is so powerful. It, it, she knows that smell. She knows that it's um, something positive. They're able to tie those connections and, and um, just learn so much quicker because of that. Now, once it becomes a habit, it's a lot easier for them to do that command because it's already a habit, it's already established. So even if I don't give her the treat, just the smell is activating her, hey, I gotta listen, I gotta focus, um, I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get something. I can make her, it could be a prolonged uh, uh, time frame that I can uh, make her wait for. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start adding a little bit of noise and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, walk with her outside and um, there's, there's gonna be the animals outside, the other dogs, but I want you to see those little tiny corrections that, I, um, that I'm gonna make with her. So you can tell, um, hopefully y'all can still hear me when we're walking outside, but I'm gonna be walking with her and she's gonna have a loose leash. It's not till she pulls in a direction that I'm not waiting to go I'm walking real slow. She's a big dog, so she likes to take big strides, but if I want to come this way, she should be able to come this way. If I want her to stop, sit. It's just a very, very easy, easy. And that's why the importance of her having that prong collar, her having it on tight, so that she just gets a very tiny uh, uh, um, cue of, whoa, like, wait, I'm spacing out. It could have been, uh, um, you know, dump could be the pigs, the chickens, the other dogs, sound of traffic, something that, that makes her feel alert or something that, that is like, wait, I gotta go check that out. But it's just that little quick tug that's gonna give her like that, oh wait, I gotta pay attention. We're gonna go ahead and do some more walking. Up. Perfect example. There's a, you can see there's a cat coming into her yard. So. It, this command so if I don't if I want her to do that I, her purpose here is to protect the farm so we get skunks we get raccoons we get cats they're nuisance so I, I want that behavior um, but say you didn't want that behavior you turn her around sit. so I'm taking her you know sit. I'm taking her away from that stimulus and I'm rewarding her with a treat telling her, hey, everything's okay, everything's all right. I have my hand here, I'm doing the sound, she hears the sound of the baggie, so her focus is on me, it's no longer on the cat. Like I said, we're training her to protect the yard, so an intruder, something coming into the yard, I want her to do it, but in case you don't want your dog to have those habits, always have, you know, sit, have your rewards handy, so then that way you just redirect her. I'm not gonna yank her, I see a lot, People go for walks and it's a big old yank and it's a bit, all you're doing is amping them more up. Uh, you're telling them it's that friend that you go out and that friend of like, yeah, get him. Are you going to let him say that to you? Come on. You're kind of egging them on. You don't want to pull her that's just going to lead on to the aggressive behaviors. It's going to pump her up and let more adrenaline out. You want to redirect her very calmly, very gently. It's not a big deal. And, uh, um, and they'll listen. It's just a quick little tug, redirection, and pull out your treat.